What's causing dolphins to show up dead along the east coast of the United States? Our Jason Beisel has been looking into the deaths and tells us what it means for dolphins right here in the Bay Area. Along the beaches from New York to Virginia, carcasses of bottlenose dolphins have been washing ashore. Strainings have started to increase in northern North Carolina, north of Cape Hatteras. Since early July, 364 dolphins have been found dead or on the verge of dying. The deaths, a mystery until now. Biologists believe the cause may be the morbilli virus. It has um, effects on the brain and the lungs and also on the immune system. So uh, they're getting secondary infections, fungal and, and bacterial infections. This die-off eerily similar to the one back in 1987 through 88. And it started in a, in a similar manner. During that time, 50% of the coastal migratory dolphins were affected, leaving them to be classified as depleted. So why another outbreak? As dolphins were exposed to the virus back then, they began to develop antibodies and became immune to the virus. As years pass, those dolphins eventually began to die off. That basically, they've kind of reached the tipping point where there's more animals that don't have the antibodies anymore versus those that do. So what about those dolphins right here in our own backyard? Well, so far, the virus hasn't shown up in dolphins in Florida, but that could soon change in the next couple of months as we enter the fall and winter season. But as they start moving south through the fall and into the winter, um, we would expect that there there's the potential for this virus to start um, spreading down the coast and we'll see increased strandings in our area. You can't vaccinate dolphins against the virus, so for now, biologists can only watch and wait for signs of the virus spreading here. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.